Okay, now we're going to take a look at the surface area of right cones. Okay, a right cone. Well, what is it? Well, this is an image of a right cone here uh, on the right. And a right cone has a circular base. Okay, so we have a base that's a circle. That base has a radius. And it stands straight up. So the height goes right down the middle. Uh, and we notice, just like with pyramids, we end up with an interesting little triangle. That's a right triangle where our R, our radius, our height, and our surface, or our slant height, all correspond to sides of the right triangle. Now there's a formula that we're going to use throughout this section called the surface area for a right cone. That's equal to pi times R times S. That's pi times the radius times S, which is the slant height. Okay, and that pi r s is itself the lateral area. Okay, that part of the formula is the lateral area. The pi r squared portion of the formula, well, that is, of course, the area of a circle, pi r squared, right? So that is our base area. It's the base circle of our cone. Okay, so we can separate this out into two formulas, really. We've got the lateral area plus the base area. Okay, first question here. A right cone has a height of 7 feet and a base diameter of 4 feet. And we want to know its surface area. Well, again, we know the formula for surface area is written on the side there. It's pi times r times s plus pi times r squared. The lateral area plus the base area. Uh-oh. I don't actually have the radius, do I? I have a base diameter of 4 feet. So we should, have, should recall that the diameter goes all the way across a circle. And it is 2 times our radius. So therefore, our radius is going to be 2 feet, half of the diameter. Okay, we're able to answer this question now. This is going to be pi times 2 for the radius times the slant height Oh no, I'm still not able to answer the question. I'm missing the slant height. Okay, so I've got to fill in this slant height now too. Huh. Well, let's take a look at the triangle on the right side here. We've got a right triangle that combines our height, our slant height, and our radius. Our radius is 2 feet. Our height is 7 feet. And so our slant height... It's the third side, it's the hypotenuse, in fact, of a right triangle. So to calculate slant height, we would say that 2 squared plus 7 squared is equal to our slant height squared. Okay, we can calculate this out. That gives me that, well, our slant height is equal to the square root of 53. Okay, we'll put that into our formula. Slant height is the square root of 53. Okay, from here, it's just a matter of typing it in. If you type all of that formula in above, successfully you should get 58.3 square feet. Okay, let's try a backwards working problem. In this case, we know that the lateral area is 250 centimeters squared and the radius is 6 centimeters. And we want to know what is the height of the cone. Well, we have to recall that the lateral area is just this part of the formula, pi r s. So let's write that down. The lateral area is pi times r times s. Okay. Well, I know that the lateral area is 250 square centimeters. Pi is pi r is 6, and s, well, I don't know. That's a mystery right now. Well, we can find that s by dividing both sides now by pi and 6. If you divide the right side by pi and 6, well, pi divided by pi is 1, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. And so all we're left with on the right side is s, and on the left side, well, that's a quick calculation. That's 250 
divided by pi times 6. And I type that in, and I get a slant height of 13.26 centimeters. Okay, I'm not done, though. What's the question asking? It says, what is the height of the cone? Well, again, I'm left with a right triangle problem. I'm looking for the height. I know the slant height is 13.26 centimeters, and my radius is 6 centimeters. So it's a matter of using Pythagoras again. We know that 6 squared plus the height squared will equal 13.26 squared. And through a few calculations, we can find the height is exactly 11.8 feet. Okay, boom, we're done.